Hello everyone. I welcome you to my channel Lake Tech Geek. Hope you are doing well. Today we are going to talk about the new calling screen layout change occurred in Microsoft Teams. So before we start the video, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe it to get the latest information about Microsoft Teams. And uh, if you like the video, please uh, press like button and share the video. So uh, my friend, let me mention that uh, if you are used to see this video, if you're used to see this screen layout and suddenly you have, uh, you're not seeing the same screen and the screen layout has changed. If you're working as an IT admin, your users are complaining that uh, something has changed after the uh, new update. So you might be worried what exactly went wrong and how you can revert those changes in order to fix the issue for the user. So uh, let me tell you that I was, uh, you know, working on this and suddenly one of my user uh, contacted me for this issue. So I did research on this and what I was able to find that the screen layout was changed uh, from this to this. So the new screen layout has been uh, added to the Microsoft Teams. It is still in roadmap, it is still in development, so it has not been introduced to everyone. And that is the reason you, uh, the, you and your users are not able to uh, you know, see this for everyone, but certainly one or two or three users are ex experiencing the same issue. For example, if I go to my lab, I do have the old screen I wear, I am I'm used to see the old screen. But if I go to my uh, other account that I have from my work, the screen layout has changed on that and the screen layout is quite similar to this one. Uh, so here you will see a dial option here in case if you want to dial a phone number, then you'll have to click on, uh, you know, you'll have to type the phone number where you see uh, type a name over here. So in, in that place, you will be uh, typing a phone number and then you'll be able to dial your speed dial has uh, shifted from the left to right here and you have a call history button so in case if you want to call uh, see if who the recent person was where you received the call from probably you can select that person and you can dial the number now uh, this is the change that happened by microsoft so you really cannot do anything on that it was supposed to be introduced in may 2021 that is this month only so it uh, it was introduced because they wanted to simplify the calling experience with a streamlined view that shows contact voicemail and calling history together so you do not need to worry about it you just need to uh, instruct your user and educate your users that uh, this is the new experience and they need to make uh, get used to this one great so for this, let's finish the video. And in case if you have any question, do uh, write it in the comment and I'll be happy to uh, give you the answer. And if you like this video, please uh, press the uh, you know, like button and share the video. Thank you.